Assalamualaikum everyone, it's Smooth the Ansar. Today, I got a few things on my mind as usual. But um, what I'd like to talk about today in this video is the, the picture of Sammy Sosa that's circulating the internet right now of like the before and after of him. Apparently, he's been using um, skin whitening cream to um, lighten his skin. Which, you know, I think he's Dominican, so he has that, you know, deep, that rich brown um, tone. And, I don't know, he's been using, you know, this white cream. And, of course, it's not, he's just like the latest thing, you know, the latest um, proof. But, in actuality, you see that sort of thing a lot within the um, black community. And you see, certainly see it a lot with Africans and like you know, um, um, like Caribbean people and such. So he's not the only one. Of course, most infamous is Michael Jackson. Although he said he actually had a bit of like, mashallah, you know, whatever. That's what he said. That's what it is. Cause I don't know any different. However. Um, other people who are doing this don't have the um, skin disease, the skin ailment, and you know it just it just really makes you think um, how deeply rooted self hate is within the black community, and by black I mean black people, wherever we shall be. So African Americans or you know Nigerians or you know one of, another big one these days is a Nigerian singer, um, Litsia. She wow, look her up. Her name is spelled D E N C I A. Um, D for diary. E N C for cat. I am. Um, my gosh, she was again brown, like a chocolate brown. I try not to say dark brown because somebody spazzed out on me years ago because either I said, I don't know if I said black or dark, or I think I may have said something about dark skinned people, and she was like, Living. She like snapped on me. She was like, I'm not dark, I'm brown. Well, so far as I know, brown is a dark color. So, you know, the, the just us not wanting to relate to brownness, darkness, or anything. Now, I know people looking at me probably looking at my skin tone and saying, like, might feel like, like, how would I know? Number one, I'm like the lightest thing in my family. <laughs> Number one. Number two, so you know my sisters are brown. Not all of them. Some of my sisters are brown. Some, we're like different tones. We're like the Cosby show. We're different tones in my family. My mother, um, my, my mother's mother was Irish, Irish American, first generation. And so that's how the light this started to come into my family. My granddad married her and they had a bunch of little babies together. And um, my, they were all light, but my mother was the lightest. And so my father is brown, like dark brown. And, but you know, I came out this color. Alhamdulillah, it's all good. It didn't used to be all good, which is funny because when I was young, I wanted so bad, like, I didn't want to be, I don't know if I wanted to be brown, but I wanted to not be light, if that makes any kind of sense. I didn't want to be light because I'm from a brown world. And so, when I was growing up, you didn't have all this, like, interracial marriage and, like, children who have, you know, a white parent, a black parent. That was almost non-existent. Where I'm from... Um, the light people, people who are light like me, all Latina and Latino 
people. So me and um, there was one other family who's black, African American, who are like basically like like me. I think I was probably still a little bit lighter now, but you know it was just us. And God, they also had those light eyes. So forget about it. They used to get. I don't know if they used to get teased as much because they'll bust somebody in the head. But me, I was I was young and I was crazy shy just by nature. And so, you know, I got picked on a lot for being light-skinned, as if I could change that or whatever. But, you know, these are the things that we go through in the black community. But it wasn't just me being picked on. <laughs> if you were really light, you got picked on. And God forbid you were really dark, you got picked on. So I could remember all sorts of um, like black kid, black children picking on each other. They'd be like, you black Jesus? Or they'd be like, you know, did you see, you see John? He's so black, he purple. Or they would call you blurple or, yeah, blurple. Or, um, you know, the, stuff like that. And so, I mean, there's tons and tons of documentation on color issues within the black community and so um i guess i guess when i see people like sammy sosa chemically bleaching their skins and you know the other sister uh dentia or there's another um south africa i think she's from south africa a sister um can't think of her name. Um, I think it's Minnesota or something like that. I forget her name. But she too bleached her skin. And I mean, man, they started out nice, like brown. And now they're light like me. And the thing is, to me, what I see from that, the hate and the dislike of self is so deep. That they will argue you down saying, no, no, it's not that I want to be white. No, 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 it's not. I mean, with a long behind blind weave on, right? I don't want to be white. Oh, I just want to be a little bit light because, you know, I think I'm prettier with lighter skin and all this sort of thing. And, you know, also, I, what I notice is people like to say, oh, I'm not sending out a negative message to kids or to the community because you know I'm an adult and if they're an adult then they can make their own decisions um, first of all adulthood these days is nothing but a number you turn 18 or in some cases if you want to go drink liquor or whatever you turn 21 and all of a sudden you're considered an adult that doesn't mean, all that means is that now you got to pay taxes or whatever, you know, you could be locked up for a certain, all, you know, different things that now you have certain um, social responsibilities or civil responsibilities um, to the land. It does not mean that you have developed mentally or that you have even developed physically, um, that now you're an adult. So to say that you know as an adult i can make my own decisions or i'm doing this as an adult so you know implying that you know i made i made an accurate decision right it doesn't matter that you're 18 or 25 or 55 you can still make um wrong choices you can still make very dangerous choices you can still make stupid choices and like it or not, once people are inside the public eye, you have a responsibility whether you like it or not. Now, whether you accept that um, responsibility, you know, is, is something different. But whether you accept it or not, you are still, um, you, you, people are still looking at you. And people are still looking at you making choices, you know, based upon what you do, especially now in this, like, severely celebrity driven society of ours um so yes we do we do uh, we have to be held accountable but how do you hold someone accountable right when they clearly 
are not equipped to people are making decisions okay people are putting these chemicals and things on their skins right to lighten themselves it comes from it comes from feeling inadequate it comes from feeling um, insufficient it's from you know people say oh I love myself no we love Massa, period. Let's keep it real. We love Massa. We want to be accepted by Massa. We want to be we want to be loved by Massa. And instead of people, you know, you hear people say, Well, I have to do such and such in order to get a job. I have to do such and such in order to be accepted. Rather than standing up and saying, No, I'm gonna do this my way. Either you accept me or I get something else started on my own. I make a way on my own or whatever. We don't do that. We want to be accepted by other people. And so, um, like, how do you, how how can we expect people who are not equipped to make um, sufficient decisions or, you know, smart decisions or decisions um, keeping the children in mind and other people in mind? How can we expect them to make, um, to uphold their role as role models? Well, that's a $50 million question right there, I guess. But nonetheless, it's, it has to be, it ha it's what has to be done. People have to be held responsible. And the thing, one of the biggest things that scares me, I guess, far more than you know, the fact that they're harming themselves. There's no way you put chemicals on you and, um, you know, messing up your pigmentation and, um, you know, cells in your body and such, and nothing is going to happen to you. It causes cancer. We know this from when people are bleaching themselves before. Us. It causes skin cancer. It causes kidney problems. It causes all sorts of problems. But I think what bothers me mostly and what scares me mostly is that this is going to become so, um, it's going to become like second nature in society. The same way straightening your hair became, um, it's just what people do now and even think about it. And if you dare say like, why are you straightening your hair? You're trying to, trying to, you know, be accepted by white culture and white society. Again, somebody will cuss you out. You know, there was a time where weaves and all that stuff, people would go to their grave. They wouldn't even, they wouldn't tell you that that junk was weed. <laughs> Ex Alexander O'Neill. But um but now it's just it's what's done, it's second nature. If you ever watch um Chris Rock's Good Hair, that documentary was like awesome, it was on point. But so many things stuck out stuck out from that to me. And one of them is this woman, you could tell she was straight poor. She, you know what I'm saying? When you look at her. But she was putting weave on set, on, on layaway, yo. Like, seriously, you paying a grand for some weave and you can't feed yourself appropriately? You're not, you know. The mere fact that you have to put it on layaway tells you you can't afford it. But, um,. I mean, this is coming from somebody who's natural, so I don't know. Um, but as I was saying, it's it's all second nature now. When Madam C.J. Walker, you know, came out and invented different um, hair straightening agents for women of color and men of color, but um, and straightening combs and all that, it wasn't like everybody was just like, yay! Everybody wasn't all happy about it. You had... Um, different people, active, black activists, black intellectuals, like, you know, W.E.B. Du Bois and others who, they were against it because the same issues that are real for us now today in 2014, almost 2015, was the same with back then. And so, like what, a hundred years ago, or nearly a hundred years ago. And so, you know, he, they weren't down with that. They're like, look, black people, we have enough identity issues. We don't need to, you know, be um, encouraging people to straighten their hair 
and wanted to fit in with white America. And, you know, of course, she was she became the first self-made woman millionaire of any race in America on black people straight in the hair. You know, we don't, we don't like that tight curl. Which is so, it's crazy when you think about it. We, we go through such lengths. By the way, the um, black hair business is a multi-billion dollar business. Um, white and agents that people of color use is a multi-million dollar business. Um, but <laughs> it's crazy because the creator of Lops, Kano Barsala, gave us strength in our hair. You see those tight curls? That strength right there is energy, is, um, you know, like straight hair, she's like laying there limp, doing nothing. I mean, it just does nothing. Black hair is just like all over the place. You got your curls wiry. My hair is just frizzed to death, like all the time. I like tight, tighten my locks and child before I even finish. You got all these little pieces. They're like, mm -mm, you can't be able to me down. <laughs> they want to just dance and like be and just be free. You know what I mean? Instead of just laying your limp. Now, me saying that is not being disrespectful to people who do not have know like tight locked hair that's not my point my point is if that is how you were created then that's your life you know a lot of make mistakes a lot of the best artists however if that is not you and you've been given that strength that that hair that is strong that skin that is